Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome back to the, well, the class number 19. And we're going to finish this, well, tomorrow. So it, it is like uh, one of the, the last classes, one of the last classes. So um, how was your day, Elisa? Tell us. Everything OK? Hello, teacher. Okay, I can't hear you. ¿Me escuchas, Eli? Porque no te escucho. Sí. Sí, teacher, lo escucho okay, bien. I can hear you. Okay, let's wait. Uh, Carito, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I hear you. Mm, no. Let me see. I guess. Okay, I can. Okay. Ok, Eli, ¿sí me escuchas? Sí, teacher, le escucho perfecto. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect, that's, that's nice. I don't know, I, I guess I had some problems at the beginning, so, ok. So, Eli, uh, how was your day? Tell us. Uh, thank you, so fine, muy bien. Ok, that's nice. Carito, hello, how about you? Hello, teacher, how are you? Um, on the top of the world. What about you? Excellent, excellent. Hey, pretty well, pretty good. Okay, that's fine. I let you hear that. Nice, Mardo. What about you? Hello, teacher. Oh, thank you. Everything okay? Okay. Okay, I let you hear that. Okay, what about Kenya? Hello. How is it going? Good evening. Good evening. How is everything? Excellent. Super bien. Okay, that's nice. Well, um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the class number A A 19. Okay, so tomorrow we finish this course. Well, it is like a, a good sensation, right? Uh, the topic of today is how to use can for informal requests. Yesterday, um, we started to, to, to study could. We're going to continue with the, the, that topic, okay? So how to use can for informal request? Como ser can para um, solicitudes informales, okay? Before we go into the main topic,
Okay, go there. Okay. Here we have polite ways to say no. There are different forms. Um, if you notice, um, we as Latin American, uh, we give a lot of excuses when we want to say no. Damos bastantes excusas al momento de decir no. We are not direct. Americans, they are very direct. Los americanos, los, los, los perdón, los estadounidenses, son muy directos para decir no. But we use a lot of words uh, or phrases. So here we have some forms to say no de una manera muy amable. Sounds nice, but I'm not available. I'm sorry, but I can't help you this time. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not a good time. Maybe next time. Maybe another time. Sorry, but I can't make it. Thanks for thinking of me, but I can't. Sí, cuando les inviten a salir, ustedes quieran, because you, there's any reason you can say one of these, okay? Suena bien, pero no estoy disponible. Uh, lo siento, pero mm, no puedo ayudarte esta vez. Desafortunadamente, no es un buen momento. Quizás la siguiente ocasión, quizás otra vez. Uh, lo siento, pero no puedo. Can make it. No, no puedo. Thanks for thinking of me. Eh, gracias por pensar en mí, pero no puedo. Okay? So you tell me one of, of the phrases, these phrases that uh, got an eye. Okay? So we start with Ellie and then Kenya. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not a good time. Not a good time. Okay, good. And what about Kenya and then Wilfredo? Sorry, but I can't make it. I can't make it. Yeah, I can make it. Okay, good. Uh, Wilfredo and Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, uh, it's not a good time. Okay, it's not a good time. And Carlos and Steffi. I'm sorry, but I can't help you this time. I can help you this time. Nice. Steffi Mardo. Sorry, but I can't make it up. Okay. Good. I'm sorry, but I can't. Mardo and Carito. Thanks for think thinking of me, but I can't. I can't. Okay. Carito and Adonai. Sounds nice, but I am not available. Okay. I'm sorry, my friend. See the same. Okay, Adonai and Luis. Sorry, but I can make it. Good. Okay, we'll go with Luis and then we we'll go with um Patty. Uh I'm sorry, but it, I can help you this time. Okay, Thank you. Friend. Yes, Patty. Thank you for thinking for me, for me because I can't, but I can't. Okay, good. Uh, Joa, are you ready? And then Carly. Okay. Carly is, if Carly is not ready, go with. Hello, hello. Me mencionó, teacher. Okay, okay. Later. Después. No, pero estoy poniendo atención, le puedo decir. Okay. Maybe next time, maybe another time. Thank you. Okay, Carly and then Raquel. I'm sorry, but I can help you this time. Perfect. Uh, Raquel? Are you there? Maybe she's not there. Okay, so these are different forms to say no um in a polite way no una forma digamos bastante amable no solo a decir no thanks porque a veces no gracias se escucha aunque se diga gracias se escucha como muy directo okay so these are let's continue what do you like most about your job okay and 
What do you like this? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta y qué es lo que menos te gusta about uh, your job? Okay. You can say it. We have always positive and negative aspects about our job. Okay. So what about well, if we listen to Carly and then Luis. Okay, Carly. Okay. Well, the only things that I'm some like about my job is the uh, environment because sometimes is the this dynamic and funny. Funny. Okay. <laughs> El otro es, and the things like lens is that the clients not as well, they close. Um, also, when they insult, no sé si así se dice, yes, insult, insult, yes. insult, us as the moment that we try to explain, and we have to keep silence. Yes, uh, we have to keep silence ah, because silence. there are some clients that are not polite at all. I know that. So, say, o sea, <laughs> I know how it feels, sé cómo se siente. but you, as employee, you can't reply. No puede responder de la misma manera. Mm -hmm. You can't reply the way you want. Because you, you have to be formal, polite, and you have to, as you, uh, as you mentioned, keep silence. And that's, uh, that's not good, right? It doesn't feel good. No se siente para nada de eso. No. Okay, I understand you. Thank you, Carly. Okay, Luis, and then we go with Steffi. Okay, <clears throat> teacher. Uh, what I like most about my job is feeling the satisfaction. Faction, what me balance sheet. Okay. Uh, and what do you like least about it? Is when they do, do not up. Cuando me cuadran los balances, yes, pero cuando no. Okay, when <laughs> the result is uh, balanced, okay, nice. But when the results are no okay, yes, I, you feel maybe frustrated or you can feel upset yes. when you say up. Sad es molesto, poco molesto, triste y molesto, okay? So, yeah. Okay, I understand that feeling, uh, Luis. Okay, Steffi and Mardo. Number one, the Podrías acercarte un poco más, Steffi? ¿Cómo? Podrías acercarte más porque casi no te escuchamos. Okay. The good relationship we have with police. Okay. Okay, thank you. Do inventory. Okay, nice. Well, uh, let's listen to Mardo and then Carlos. Thank you, Steffi. I'm not ready, teacher. Not ready, okay. Uh, Carlos and then Carito. Okay, teacher. Huh? What do you like most about you have when they pay, pay my in the time of the person are also with on us to send a feeling and they are pressuring you. Okay. Uh, and la otra, uh, the time of entering the warning later. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Carito, your turn and then we'll go with Ellie. Okay, teacher, I think I don't understand very good the question uh -huh. because I didn't take it about specific, specific my job, 
no all the uh, Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, you can talk about the company, <coughs> the enterprise, or your specific functions. Depends on you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like most about my job is the attitude of my boss. He is kind, understanding, and accessible. What annoys me is that there are always people talking behind you back, and I do not like uh, when the staff does not comply with the required requirement that they are found. Yeah, that's it. Well, you are fortunate, eres afortunada, <clears throat> if you have a, a boss with good attitude, that is not so common, but uh, every boss should be like that. And uh, people talking uh, at your backs, you always are going to find people yes, that, I know, but... they are not, they are frustrated, they are upset with themselves, uh, they want to grow uh, in different forms, but they can't. So if they can't grow, si no pueden crecer, they try to destroy another's career, another's reputation. So, well, a, a, a lot of uh, problems that maybe you can find in any kind of job. Okay, Kari, that's good. Okay. Thank you. Joa, are you ready? Because I saw you. Yes, you. yes teacher. Yes. Okay, and then Ellie, please. Okay, I like the work environment, uh, teamwork, getting pain. What I don't like is working. <laughs> it's a joke. Okay. What, <laughs> what I don't like is being scolded when I haven't made made a mistake. Okay. So you feel like attacked. Just like como atacada. It's like okay. Yes. What's going on? I didn't do that. And there are different forms to be to feel like that, especially when. Uh, your boss or your coordinator doesn't give you the chance to explain. Cuando no te da el espacio para explicar. I really hate that. I really hate that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Joa. Very good points. Okay, Ellie and then Wilfredo. What do you like most about Joe? What I like the most is not being in one place and deal with many people. And what do you like less about it? When there is not product ready to prepare orders. Okay, nice. Very excellent aspect, uh, Ellie. You are not uh, in one, in just in one place, right? And that's really good because you, you are like structured. It's a como, te, te distraes, okay? That, that's really helpful. Another point is that you are active, es que estás activa, you are in movement, you are dealing with people, but not all the employees like that. No todos los empleados les gusta lidiar con personas, estar con personas. Personally, I like it. It feels good. Even there are some problematic like people, but you feel cool. You, you, you make maybe friends, colleagues, okay? It's nice. Okay, uh, thank you, Eli. Yeah, when you don't have products to supply para proveer uh, algunos pedidos, to, to supply some orders, I know. It's frustrating and maybe it's not your fault. No es tu culpa. Okay. It's not your fault, but sometimes you have to answer. A veces uno tiene que responder, right? Okay, I get it. Nice, uh, Eli, thank you. Okay, Wilfredo and Andres, if you are ready. Uh, what I like most about my hope is open heavy machine. What I like less is working by from home. That's really good. Cool. So you you use like heavy machines? Utilizas eh, maquinaria un poquito pesada? Yes. 
Okay, that's nice. Okay, thank you, uh, Wilfredo. Andres, what about you? Okay, uh, what do you like most about your job? And what do you like less? Yes. My anger is, um, I like feel work and contribute, con contributing. Contribute, yes. Contribute value engineer to the project where and work it. But I don't know like work it to office. I okay. detest office. Okay, you're, yes, well, that's what I, I was uh, telling to, to Elisa, that there are a lot of people that they prefer working outside, right? In different yes. areas, in movement. And a lot, of people, a, a lot of people prefer stay in office. And that's okay. So, but when you are in movement, you feel healthy, right? Te sientes más saludable cuando estás en movimiento. And that, that's really positive. Exacto. That's really positive, yes. I consider that in my case, uh, it is kind of difficult to work in an office in my case. So I, I, I like to move. Oh, so that's really good. Yes, I understand. Okay. Thanks, my friends, for your opinions. Here we have the vocabulary of today's questions. Uh, clients, clients, second, uh, clients, pero it's clients, silence. Okay. Reply, upset, job, no hope. Okay, this is job. Fortunate, fortunate. Hay una canción de Credence que se llama Fortunate Son. Dijo Fortunado. Okay, Fortunate Son. Grow, supply, como el grupo Air Supply. ¿Quién ha escuchado a Air Supply? Good ballads, tiene buenas baladas. Okay. Uh, fault in country. Okay. Let's move. Um, okay, here we have this uh, conversations, but this this short conversation. But if we're going to this, uh, I'm going to check the attendance list. Yes, one more time. So say hello if you listen to your name. Okay. So Andres, hello. Hello. Nice, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Perfect, Carito. Hello, teacher. There, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Nice, Elisa. Hello, teacher. Good. Steffi, I know that you are over there, Steffi. Um, see, Gabriel, I guess Gabriel is, uh, uh, Jackie. Present. Thank you, Patty. Okay, um, let's listen to Joa. I'm here, teacher, sorry. Okay, Carly. Hello. Kenya. Hello, teacher. Okay. Luis. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mardo. Present, teacher. Okay, Oscar. I guess uh, he's... Okay. Hello, teacher. Nice, thank you. Raquel. Hello, 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 teacher. hello teacher. Gabriel. Gabriel. Okay, nice. Gabriel and Oscar, thank you. And Rosita, no. Walter, no. William, yes, right. Um, um, Marvin. Hello, teacher. Hello, and Wilfredo. Okay. Okay. Let, let's see this part. And here we have Mike and Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Siempre que va una, le voy a explicar eso porque he escuchado que algunos tienen como una media dificultad. Eso. La pronunciación de esa palabra es the, como cuando le están haciendo burla a alguien, si the, ¿verdad? Solo que es corto, the. ¿Verdad? Algunos dicen de, otros da. La pronunciación es the. Así, como cuando alguien le hace burla. Entonces, cuando decimos the cars, the cars. Pero cuando tenemos una vocal después de the, the 
decimos the orange. The orange. Ok. Otro ejemplo. The elephant. The elephant. Seguimos acá con consonantes. The books. The books. Ok. The cars. The orange. The books. The elephant. This is important. Ok. Sí pueden utilizar the acá, pero cuando ustedes van a hacer un énfasis. Por ejemplo, Did you see the new car that I bought? ¿Viste el nuevo carro que compré? Ok. O cuando le dicen, Please give me back the books that I lent you. Por favor, devuélveme los libros que te presté. Entonces, cuando quieren hacer un énfasis, ok. ¿Viste el resultado? Did you see the result? Entonces, si queremos hacer ese énfasis, podemos decir the, pero de lo contrario eh, se utiliza the para las palabras que siguen con consonante y the con las palabras que siguen con vocal. Ok. So, in this case, thank you for calling the IT department. Ok. Parece sencillo esto, pero eh, eh, esta, esta clave les da un gran. La pronunciación. The, digamos, no es así realmente, ¿verdad? Pero captemos, aquí se pronuncia D. ¿Ok? Lo voy a mover. Porque eso yo siempre lo, lo explico en el, en el básico 1. ¿Verdad? Me hubiese gustado tenerlo en el básico 1 para ver un par de detallitos. ¿Verdad? Que, 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 que necesitan, pero algún día lo volveré a ver, Marcos. ¿Ok? Puede ser que en el otro módulo. So, the cars, the books, o podemos decir, the orange, the elephant. ¿Ok? Ya le voy a buscar otros ejemplos para ver eso. Vamos a ver si lo vamos a probar. Sé que ustedes captan rápido. ¿Ok? So, um, eso es bien común cuando utilizamos, cuando se utiliza el... I'm sorry. En call center, en call center, se utiliza... Good morning. Thank you for calling um, Sears uh, company. This is Josué speaking. How can I help you? Entonces siempre habla, se, se, es un saludo casi cliché. Que gracias por llamar. Thank you for calling a Clara company. This is Josué speaking. I'm glad to, to help you. How can I help you? Y bla, bla. Y así. Entonces aquí es, eh, pues está un... Es un servicio de, de, de technical support, por técnico o atención al cliente. Ok. Jackie. Um, entonces dice Mike. Mike es el, el que está en el call center. Entonces dice, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal, o sea, computer. Cuando decimos terminal, los terminales son cualquier dispositivo. They can be, it can be related to computers, tablets, cell, cell phones, and photocopy machines, all those things. Pero más que todo lo que tiene software. Así que, my terminal. Um, here. Okay. File a complaint. De quejas. Estamos hablando de quejas. Entonces un archivo. I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Lo siento por escuchar eso. Here is similar a Lisa. Okay. Here, listen. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Describe con B al final, no describe, describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Didn't es el pasado de don't, ¿ok? Eh, dice, lo siento por escuchar eso, por favor describe el problema. Estaba, it was, es el pasado de is. Estaba muy slow, muy lento, yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. Y no encendió hoy. Let me send some uh, someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time, ¿verdad? Let me. 
let me, déjame. Okay. Let me send. Déjame enviar a alguien con una, con una forma okay, de queja. Forma me refiero a un, a un formato de queja. Right? We can send a new computer in a time. Podemos enviar una computadora en, sin tardarse. In no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Ut podemos utilizar diferentes formas para you are welcome. Okay? Por ejemplo... Uh, for, uh, no mention it any any time. It's a pleasure. Uh -huh. Repito. Complaint. Es fácil. Here. Here. Here tiene la misma pronunciación. Este es igual. Se pronuncia literalmente igual. Here, here. Solo que la primera es escuchar. La otra es. Eh, perdón. Here es oír. Listen, escuchar. Cuando decimos, ok, listen to me, ok, escúchenme. Es como cuando es, uh, es, hay más este, mm, atención, ok. Here significa aquí, ok. Describe, it was very slow, let me, ok. Here, here, don't forget about it, ok. Um, let's see. Mm, carito, can you, me, please. Oh, okay. Okay, share in a moment. Huh? Ready? Perfect. Okay, we're going to practice um, a little bit about uh, well this conversation. Okay, see you in a moment. Just give me a couple of seconds. Hola, teacher. Yo estoy solo en este grupo. Permitíme, voy a conseguir a otro. Dame un momento. Ok, ahí estaba una mandando un mensaje que estaba solito también.
Okay, do we have volunteers for this? Let's see who wants to who wants to participate with this short conversation. Okay, Elisa Vilha. Who is your partner, Eli? Uh, Carlos Abrego. Okay, Carlos and Eli, go ahead. Okay, thank you so okay. Correct. Thank you for, okay, thank you for calling the it department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear saying, please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and I did not turn on today. Let me see some with a complaint from we we can send we can send a new new computer in no time. Thank you. We are welcome. Are welcome. Okay, very nice. Well said. Okay. D I T department. Okay. Please uh, describe describe okay the it and describe okay very nice we're going to okay i'm going to write some words randomly voy a escribir un par de palabras recuerden tenemos dos tipos de pronunciación ya sea the versus Okay, esa es la pronunciación de esta palabra. Okay. Vamos a ver. Okay, let's see. What else? Okay, I needed to select one of this. And one more. See. Sí. The... What else? Okay. Select one. Vamos a decir, vamos a utilizar este, pero necesito que me digan the o D. Con cualquiera de esos. Elijan cualquiera. Lo que ustedes quieran. Ok. We start with Ellie and then Luis. Ok, please. Ok. Eh, number one. Mm -hmm. The eraser. The eraser. Good. Eh, Luis Wilfredo. Ok, teacher. Number two. The elephant. Nice. Eh, Wilfredo Carly. The teacher. Mm -hmm. The employee. Employees. Ok. No es necesario que me digan el número. Solo the o the. ¿Verdad? Ok. Thank you. Eh, Carly en Kenia. The house. Nice. Eh, Kenia, Carlos. The description. The description. Ok, good. Carlos, Andrés. The boss. Mm -mm. The boss. Okay, the, the boss. Okay. ok. Andrés, Carito. The umbrella. ¿Eh? The umbrella. Ok, aquí sería the umbrella. The, porque hay vocal. Ok, Carito Edwin. The apple. Nice, Edwin Adonai. The bus. Good, Adonai Joa. The cars. Ok, that's it. Joa eh, Jacqueline. The apartment. Nice. And Jackie. Um, the church. 
charge. The charge. Mm -hmm. That's it. So uh, as you can see, it is not so difficult. So you have to check the first letter and that comes after the. La primera, la primera letra que va después de, de, de eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, si es vocal, se dice D. Si es consonante, se dice T. Ok. Very nice. Ok. Uh, let's continue with this. So, um, ok. Um, help me with this. Kenya. Can you read the sentence, please? Number one. What, is, what the question? Hey, teacher. What expression does my use to show a solution in progress? In progress. Solution in progress. Uh -huh. What is the phrase? Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? Okay. Aquí tenemos la conversación. Uh, describe the, pro the problem. Describe. Okay, please describe the problem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Verdad, tenemos esa y la otra. Let me send yeah. someone. Uh -huh. Let me send Let someone. Let me send someone. Uh, sí. Please describe the problem porque a través de eso se puede dar una solución específica. And let me send someone y déjame enviarte algo para que te vaya a solucionar. Good, thank you. Okay. Carito, number two, please. What seems? Seems significa parecer. What seems? What seems to be the problem with the computer? Uh, okay. huh? I guess it didn't turn on. It didn't turn on. So that's like that. Está muerta. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yesterday it had some problems, but now, today, it didn't turn on. Okay, thank you. Uh, what do you like um, most about your job? And what do you like less? Okay, so in this case, I like to hear Edwin and Carlos. Ready? Okay, chair. Permítame, no me lo apunto. Okay. Eh, what I like most about my hobby is that I don't have to get up early. The environment if safe with a good vibe, my colleagues are all cool. Uh, what I don't like very much, I am near a place with a lot of noise. Okay. You are like, uh, uh, there, there, are, there is another place with a lot of noise. Yeah, that usually happens, sometimes, especially when, uh, your job is uh, close or next to a, a factory, a terminal, bus terminal, or una terminal de the buses. So, well, that's kind no, of. No, no, no. It's in a uh, fabric, in a uh, maquila. Okay, it's a factory. So, okay, good. Thank you, uh, Edwin. And let's listen to Carlos, and then we go with. Um, Adonai. Dicha, ya lo había dicho yo esta pregunta. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sorry, no te puse acá, man. Thank you. Eh, Adonai. And okay. then Jackie. What do you like most about your job? What I like the most is that they pay me. Pay me. <laughs> okay. And, and what I like less uh, is working on vacation. Oh, yes. I guess nobody likes working on vacation, but we have to do it sometimes. So that's it. Okay, uh, that's really good, uh, Adonai. Uh, what if we listen to Jackie? Are you over there? Okay. Uh, I like that I can get physical 
benefits and I can check my cell phone. I do not lie because I have to walk for half an hour every hour and more. Now that they are thinking, thinking to implement a new method for collecting production data per hour. Okay, yes, well, when you have like healthy benefits, that's really good. Okay, that's really good. But sometimes it's tiring. I would say muy cansado. Okay, it's tiring. So I understand. And okay. it's good that you can check your cell phone. It is not permitted in all, well, in most of jobs. In the of trabajo, si te ven con el celular, right? It is like, mm, not so good. But there are some jobs in which you need cell phone. Okay. Thank you, uh, Jackie. Very nice, Patty. Are you ready? Are you over there? Okay, I guess Patty and uh, William, I don't know if William is uh, traveling, quiero que va viajando. Okay, Walter, you there? Yes, I'm not too list. Okay. Um, so here we have environment. Environment is como el ambiente, okay? And factory is uh, about it. Okay, here we have some worksheets and aquí tenemos esto. Okay, this is really important. If you notice, we have can and could, no could, es could, could. Como que no existe la O y no existe la L, así es. Could, okay. Can significa puedo, puedes, podemos. Could tiene dos significados. Sin, eh, tiene el significado de podría, podrías, podríamos, o pudiste, como el pasado de quién. Pudimos, este, podías. Okay. So, um, here, this is an auxiliary, este es un auxiliar, como may, como should, todos esos son auxiliares. Entonces, en este caso, can drive, I can drive. Yo puedo manejar, okay? I can drive. O oh, eh, she could drive. Ella podría manejar. You can drive. Y así sucesivamente. For negatives, we use can't. Necesito que suene la T. Can't. Can't. It's important. Because if you say can. Um, vamos a ver. Pasa aquí en otro. En otro módulo tengo los trabalenguas. Vamos a ver aquí. Okay. Es un, eh, this is a tongue twister. Es un trabalenguas. Can you can again as a can or can can again? Ok. Entonces, se escucha chistoso, ¿verdad? So, sería de esta manera. Can you can again? As a canner, can, can, can. Can you can a can as a canner, can, can, a can. Can you can a can as a canner, can, can. Okay. Um, volunteers for this. Es importante el can, porque tenemos el can't. Uh, let's listen to Kenya. Ellie, as always, motivated. Okay. Uh -huh. Ellie and then Kenya. Vamos okay. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Perfect. So look yes as mm -hmm. as a as canner. Can. Mm -hmm. Good. Very nice. Okay, let's listen to Kenya and then Carito porque está evadiendo. Okay, teacher. Can you can a can as a canner a can can a can? <laughs> can como que ran can can de Tito Puente. Okay, can 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 it. Good. Thank you. Okay, Ken. Okay, okay, Ken. Lo siento, Ken. Ken. Carito. Siento, no problem. It's Karen. Pero me ando, Ken. Okay, Carito en el address. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Good. Nice. That's good. Okay, Andres and Carlos. 
כן, וכן, 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 וכן. אוקיי. גוד. אין, אמ... קרלוס. אוקיי. כן, אתה יכול, אני יכול לשאול את זנר, אני יכול, אני יכול. אסקנר, כן, 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 כי כאילו הרבה פעמים לפעמים אני מוצא אסקנר, כן, אסקנר, כן, כן, כן. ahora tenemos כן y tenemos כן't, entonces para este כן't, este es como, se escucha como el כן't de la Barbie, ¿verdad? כן't, y también se escucha como el כן't de una marca de cigarro, creo que había antes, Creo que había unos Kenneth, si me equivoco. Okay. Ese no era Kenneth. Muchos. Kenneth. Ah, no era Kenneth. Kenneth. No, era Kenneth. No, Ken. K-E-N-T. Yes, Ken. Sí, era Kenneth. Kenneth. La uh -huh. cajita azul. Ajá, ok. Bárbara. <risa> ok, yes. Ok, entonces yo creo que era... Y el otro que tú decías, Eli, era el otro. Ay, bueno, tú también sabes, Eli. Hmm. Ok. And so, uh, creo que, no sé, recuerdo un anuncio, pero entonces quiero que suenen en la T, Kent, 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 ok, todos me van a decir esto, Kent, Kent, ok, ese t, t, suena un poquito, porque normalmente le decimos así, Kent, ese t, así suena, porque no tenemos un fonema, o sea, no, no tenemos más bien, esto en español no lo tenemos, la N y la T, o dígame una palabra en español que termine con T. We don't have it. So that's why it's kind of difficult to pronounce T at the end. Por eso es difícil pronunciar la T. Porque no, te, no, te, no estamos acostumbrados. Ok, that's it. Ok, Carlos. Teacher, internet termina con T. Internet. Sí, termina español, con T. ¿eh? Sí, internet, pero antes tiene una vocal. Entonces debe de, de terminar con N. No, con cualquier consonante y la T. Si tiene, ajá, si tiene una vocal antes, no cuenta. Porque es internet. Es fácil pronunciar internet. Pero si fuese así. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ajá. That's what, okay. ok. Yes. Sí, tiene que ser una vocal antes. Ajá. Perdón, una consonante. Ya con vocal ayuda bastante. Ok, Carlos. Okay. Ken, Ken. Vamos. Ken, Ken. Good, Eli, and then Ma Adonai. Ken, Ken. Good. Adonai and Walter. Ken, Ken. Nice. Walter, Jackie. Ken, Ken. Nice. Jackie, uh, Joa. Ken, Ken. Good. Joa, Carito. Kent, Kent. Kent. Mm -hmm. Good. Kent. Yeah, that's it. Carito, Kenya. Kent, Kent. Mm -hmm. Good. Kenya and Wilfredo. Kent, Kent. Good. Wilfredo, Luis. Kent, Kent. Mm -hmm. um, eh, Carly. Kent, eh, yo, yo. Kent. I'm sorry. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Carly. Uh, Luis, your turn, and okay. then Andres. Ken, Ken. Yeah, that's it. Very nice. Okay, Andres and William. Ken, Ken. Good one. Okay, William and Edwin. Ken, Ken. Perfect. Well pronounced, William. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Edwin. Okay, so that's it. Okay, easy peasy, right? Can you, can I, 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 can si se dan cuenta, casi no hago eso, sino que los dejo, que sigan fluyendo, que tengan el flow, respeto su flow, ¿verdad? Entonces, but when I consider that I have to correct, I do it. Cuando considero que tengo que corregir ciertas cosas, lo hago 
porque si no lo seguimos repitiendo demasiado y si los estoy deteniendo demasiado, ya no siguen con su flow, pierden el sabor y les da pena. Pues, no, no, aquí me voy a equivocar. Entonces la cuestión es aventarse y vamos a ir corrigiendo letter by letter, poco, ¿verdad? Así que los dejo crecer, o sea, los dejo vivir y amar. Ok, so, um, can't, ¿verdad? Como los cigarros que fumaba cierta persona, que no voy a mencionar acá. Ok, can't, y tenemos el couldn't, no, mentira, carito. Couldn't, ok, could, couldn't. Así. Couldn't, así, así se pronuncia, couldn't, couldn't. Aquí es could y couldn't. Mm -hmm. That's the way. Uh, if you notice, I write like this. Escribo así para que <ríe> entiendan eh, y captemos, porque a veces es un poquito difícil, ¿verdad? Como, como decir, ¿cómo pronuncio esto? Entonces, couldn't. couldn't. Uh, y luego aquí tenemos que any could. ¿Mm? Y ya sabemos acá. Ok. Se parece al wood, si se dan cuenta. Eh, me refiero que se parece al wood en la ubicación. Miren acá. I would like. I wouldn't. Good. Ok. Uh, let's do some exercises. Vamos a hacer unos ejercicios. Carito. Starts. A ver. Una difícil, pues, Carito. Come on. Uh, uh, ok. Uh, fill in the blanks below to complete sentences. Vamos a utilizar cualquiera de estas maneras. Can. Good. Ahora tú. Ok. Uh, solo te voy a... Bueno, Solo, antes que nada, necesito que busquen keywords, palabras clave. Last night, anoche. Se está hablando en pasado. pasado. Can es para presente. Could es para pasado. Last year, el año pasado. Um, last <coughs> night, anoche. Um, let me see. Right now, ahora mismo. Estamos hablando en presente. Um, what else? Well, eh, necesito que, eh, por ejemplo, eh, ajá, yesterday, comunicación de The Beatles, Sin oh So Far away. away. Me gusta esa canción. Así que eso se habla del pasado. Eso es importante, el, 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 el contexto. Right. Ok, number one. I couldn't go to the party last night because I was sick. ¿Sí? Típica excusa cuando no van a algún lugar. No pude ir a la fiesta anoche porque estaba enfermo de amor. O oh, enfermo. Ok, that's it. Thank you, Carito. Let's go now with Adonai and Luis. Number eight. Uh, couldn't you see the mom last night? Ok. Cool. Las preguntas siempre son, no son en negativo. Es cool. Ah, cool. ¿Pudiste okay. ver la luna anoche? ¿Verdad? No es negativa, ahora sí. No, hay. Could. No, la negativa. No, hay. Couldn't. Yes. That's it, that's nice. Good. Ok, we go with uh, Luis and then Carly. Number 11. Number Excuse 11. Bien pronunciado, 11. Excuse me. Excuse me, I can hear you right now. The music is too low. low. Good. Excelente por usar can, pero dice, discúlpame, yo puedo escucharte ahora mismo porque la música está muy fuerte. Ajá. Pues, uh -huh. Está en presente. Good. Can. Ajá. ¿Sería? Can. Can't. Can't. ¿Mm? Discúlpame. Um... No puedo escucharte ahora mismo porque ah, la música, imagínense, no, ya, sí, ah, imagínense, van uh -huh. una cosa y van hablando ahí con una persona. Ok. O sea, ya un gran okay. perreo intenso. So, I can't listen. I can't okay. hear you. Ok, uh, we go now with uh, Carly and uh, Carlos. Two. Two, two. I could. Mm. Vaya, ese es en presente. Mm. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Tú? Entonces sería. Es una pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
could? No. Could es para pasado. Ajá. Entonces sería can. Exacto. Okay. Can Noel cook Italian food? ¿Puede Noel cocinar este media italiana? Yes, he. He can't. No, can't. porque está utilizando no. el yes, Carly. Si fuera no, yes. sería can't. Uh -huh. Porque can't es uh -huh. negativo. Yes. ¿Puede cocinar comida italiana? Sí, puede. Yes, okay. can't. Yes, he can. Ah, no se recuerda cuando iba a Obama. Tenía un slogan. Yes. Yes, we can. Sí, podemos. Ese era el, 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 el tema. Slogan de. Slogan de. ¿Cómo se llama de Obama? So, utilizaba el can. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, thank you, Carlos. And then we go with Ellie. For teacher. For. Se, se can. Está hablando en pasado. Can. Ah, ok. The cool. porque, por eso les dije que se fijen en las palabras, porque ahí dice yesterday, ayer. Ajá, yeah. ¿Qué the, sería? The cool, cool. Uh -huh. Cool go shopping yesterday because the store was closed. Was closed. Uh -huh. No pudieron oh. ir de compras ayer porque la tienda estaba cerrada. Thank you. Okay, we go with Ellie and then Walter. Number nine? Nine? Nine. When? When, when could I talk to you about the company rep report? Bien. ¿Cuándo pude hablarte sobre el reporte de la compañía? Mm, es presente. Para presente utilizamos. Sí, es presente. El Ken. ¿Cuándo puedo hablarte? Sobre el reporte de la compañía. When can. Nice. Uh, we we'll go with Walter and then with Fred. Okay. Um, number three. My sister could couldn't. 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 Swim. But now she could. Couldn't. Mi hermana no pudo nadar o no podía nadar el año pasado. Ahora ella, ella, ajá. But now, pero ahora, estamos hablando del presente, she pero ahora. She could. Uh, oh. She can. Oh, well, can. ¿Quién es presente? ¿Quién es presente? Ok. Uh, we go with, with Fredo and Joa. Uh, twelve. Twelve, ajá. Uh -huh. I, I call. I could. I could draw a truth when I was only 16 years old. Ajá. Yo podía conducir un camión cuando yo solo tenía 16 años. Very nice. Okay. And let's listen to Joa. Are you ready? Number five. Kenia, no sé si ya pasó. Okay. Can you read with you where for yet old? ¿Puedes leer cuando tenías cuatro años? ¿Mm? ¿Sería quién? ¿O qué sería? Cool. Es pasado. Podrías. Oh, ok. ¿Puedes leer cuando tenías eh, cuatro años? Y la respuesta es yes. ¿Quién? Eh, es, es no. ¿Podrías? Ay, no, qué horror. Tranquila. ¿Podrías leer cuando tenías cuatro años? Sí podía o sí puedo. ¿Sí? Eh, esa palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Repítalo otra vez, por favor. Could. Could, ok. Could. Así, así va. No es primera vez que la digo yo. Ah, could, could. Ok. Could. Yes. Thank you. Good, that's perfect. Ok, eh, vamos con Kenia. ¿Cómo está? ¿Ya pasaste, Kenia? I guess no. No, teacher. Kenia and then William. Okay, teacher. Tenía una, pero ya me la ganaron. I'm sorry. I... Uh -huh. uh, eh... Fifteen. Go. I... I can read. No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Without. Without. Without, without my reading class. 
Where are they? Okay. Solo que es negativa. Ah, ok. No ah. puedo leer sin mis eh, letras de lectura. ¿Dónde están? Hay una canción que se llama With or Without. You. Es de YouTube. Ya se la pueden seguramente. With or Without You. Entonces en el coro lo dice. Para que ustedes la, la busquen. With or Without You. Ok. Um, let's see who else. ¿Quién me hace falta? William and Raquel. Hello, Raquel. Okay, William. Okay, uh, 14. 14. How many hot dogs can you hit at one time? ¿Cuántos hot dogs se puede comer de un solo? ¿Cuántos choris? Okay, yes. Thank you, Raquel. Uh, you can select six, six, seven. Uh, number seven. Okay. I'm very tired, so I can go out to the park to play. To play, yes. Thank you. Okay, and para finalizar, to finish this, um, Edwin. Okay. Uh, six Number ten. six. Mm -hmm. Ellie can ride a bicycle. Yes. She rides it to to school every day. Every day, that's it. And number 10, I'm going to give it to, okay, Carito, help me with number 10. Most dinosaurs. Let me see. Most dinosaurs walk online, but some couldn't fly or even sing. Could. Mm -hmm. Muchos dinosaurios caminaban sobre la tierra, pero algunos podían volar o aún nadar. Okay, I know that this topic is kind of mm, tricky, but we're going to check it later. Okay, let's see this part. Uh, we're going to write down two more reasons to file a complaint. Eh, ¿Cómo podemos, cómo, qué podemos decir que, que no funciona? ¿Okay? Cuando ustedes se van a llenar una forma, un formulario de quejas de algún equipo. ¿Okay? ¿Se recuerdan lo que estoy? We were studying, the, we were talking about this, but in different forms. Estuvimos hablando de los problemas que pueden tener algunas, algunas máquinas. ¿Okay? Some implements and, and work. Where the name of another piece. Um, Equipment at the center of second diagram and possible complaints about it. Vaya, aquí tenemos esto. Vean. Printer. ¿Qué le puede pasar a la printer? A la impresora. It doesn't turn on. Entonces, aquí le vamos a poner uno más y uno más. Ok. Aquí puede ser computer, air conditioner. O sea que le vamos a poner razones por las cuales no pueden funcionar. Ok. En este caso, no enciende. ¿Se recuerda? Había otro que teníamos como It uh, Makes uh, Funny Noise, que hace un, un sonido gracioso, chistoso. Stuck uh, paper. Ah, uh, stuck paper. Mm -hmm. But you can use some others, ¿ok? So we're going to get in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Y ustedes pueden eh, ver, let's eh, write some of the reasons how eh, any equipment can fail. ¿Cómo puede fallar algún tipo de equipo? ¿Ok? So, uh, just uh, take, write one equipment name and one, two, three reasons. Tres razones por las cuales puede fallar. Okay. So, I'll see you in a moment with the same couple to work.
Okay, Andres, I need you to accept the request. Let's see, okay. Accept this. Last solicitor.
Okay. Um, welcome back. Here we have a complaint form. Tenemos como un formulario de quejas. So in this case, um, here it is easy. You write, you, you write your, uh, your name, date, home phone number, work phone number, fax number, street address, city, email address. So here we have this. And uh, Walter, me podría ayudar? Can you help me please read it? Okay. <clears throat> Complaint information describes the nature of the complaint time, hidden the equipment in question and the problem. Okay, that's it. So uh, easy. Uh, something important is describe. Tenemos que describir. Describe right. the nature. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And identify. Okay. Cuando ustedes eh, recuerden esa palabra identify. Sorry. Identity. ID is identification document. O sea, DUI. Okay. Identity ID. Identify. Okay. Todo lo que lleva normalmente la I, la D se escucha como I. Se pronuncia I. Identity ID. Identify. Okay, so this is like key. Es como, como pues un patrón para que captemos. Los patrones son bien, bien comunes en inglés. De eso, okay, describe, uh -huh, describe, ident identify, identity, ID, identify. So, um, lo que quiero que me digan, simplemente vamos a llenar esta parte. Ah, otra cosa. Signature, signature es firma. Okay, signature. Eh, otro patrón. Not sure es naturaleza. Not sure, not sure. No, not sure. Not sure. Y sin not sure. Okay. Es eh, la firma. And here we have the date. Okay. So I need you to tell me, como recuérdense que en estas formas eh, de, 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 de queja, no dice, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está? De un solo, directamente. The printer, solo quiero que me digan the printer y qué es lo que hace. Uh, the, the photocopy machines eh, hace esto. Um, the what? The air conditioner. Y de un solo. Ok, la, 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 la directa, la, lo que les, les sucede, ¿verdad? Something negative. Acá, okay. solo uno. Ok, we start with Raquel and then Eli. Ok, Raquel. Start with one. Just one. Ya hicieron varios. I know. Just did a lot. But just one. Para Raquel. Estoy haciendo. Uh, printer, it doesn't turn on, runs out of ink, paper jam. Okay, thank you. Nice. Me dijiste tres. Perfect. ¿Cómo puedes decir? One or two. Okay. No, that's okay, Raquel. So, the printer uh, doesn't work. Uh, yes, sí, ¿verdad? Sin el it. Yes. Okay. So, the printer is having problems. Problem. So, thank you. Enli and Carly. Eh, teacher, una consulta, tenía que ser de, tenía que ser de Pinterest o podía ser de otro... Whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Ok. Computer, eh, doesn't the battery files. Ok, very nice. The computer. The computer. The printer, the computer. Mm -hmm. Y aquí empezamos a describir eh, cuál es el problema. Ok, thank you, Eli. Very nice. Um, Carly en Kenia. The computer has virus. Okay, the computer has virus. Perfect. Kenya, Carito. Uh, printer is to paper. The printer. The printer stuff. Ah, the printer stuff. Paper. Paper. Okay, paper. 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 Carito, Luis. Okay, the computer. Make the fun noise. Okay. okay. See? Luis Walter. Uh, the printer it doesn't pap paper jam. Okay. Paper uh, jam. Okay, Walter and Carlos. 
Uh, the printer lost wireless connection. Ah, wireless. Uh -huh, wireless yeah. connection. Good. Okay, uh, we'll go with Carlos and Wilfredo. The computer mouse pointer file. Fails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Wilfredo, Steffi. The printer has no power. I'm sorry, can you repeat again, please? Uh, the, pin, the printer has no power. Okay. Thank you. Steffi, William. The computer in does not turn on. Oh, perfect. William Adonai. The internet connection is bad. Perfect. Adonai Edwin. The printer, it doesn't have toner. Okay, perfect. And Edwin and Andres. The... Bueno, había escrito una parecida a la de Marvin, pero voy a decir... Uh, turn off the computer, turn off from time to time. Oh, time to time. Good. And Andres, are you ready? Okay, uh, let's continue with this. I like this uh, question. Tell the best. Fíjense bien, tell, no say. ¿verdad? Tell normalmente cuando termina algo extenso. Say es como algo. Por ejemplo, okay, say, say, dilo. Entonces, como usted hace un sonido raro, por ejemplo, pero tell, cuenta. Tell the best experience you have had with your friends or family. I suppose you have a variety of memories, good uh, events that you have experienced. But uh, select one, maybe not the best, but one that you remember with love, would you remember uh, that maybe it was fun, it was an accident, it was a, a curious anecdote, yeah, it was stressful situation, whatever, okay? Um, if you want to say the best experience, la mejor experiencia no necesariamente tiene que ser super, super buena, pero sí algo impactante, okay? Uh, sorry. Okay, gracias. Thanks for telling me, Oscar. Okay, we have problems with Gabriel. Okay, any volunteers for this? 29 minutos y terminamos. So, tell the best experience you have had with your friends or family. And Carito viene con todos los poderes. Okay, and then Carlos. Okay, teacher. Algo bacán. I don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. I remember four years ago, my mom came to visit me in El Salvador. And we went for a walk to Nahuitzalco. We got on a bike, my mom, her best friend, my husband, my daughter, and I. It was super fun to ride around the whole town, all by us and one bicycle. Is it like a very large bicycle? Yes. La, la, yes. Oh. My daughter was in front like a basket. She was, she was driving the, the main. No, just in a basket, like a, um, I don't know. In a basket, la, like a pet, la, 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 like yes. a baby, like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> really? And how much is it? Yeah. It sounds like really $5? nice. Five dollars? Five dollars per... $5. 15 minutes. No, for, for, uh, I don't, I don't know. It's a one, one round. Record, una vuelta. One okay, round. One yeah. round. Yeah. Very funny. It really. sounds nice. So you can take pictures or a selfie video, right? We make a, a video. What? <laughs> great. Very, like, <laughs> Actually, very interesting. I, I can recommend imagine. recommend you to do that. <laughs> I can imagine that. It, it is something that, Maybe you can leave it once, right? Or twice. Yes. Una vez o dos veces. Yes. Pasa. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Very nice. I don't know what's the name of that I bicycle. I really like it. I can imagine. I don't know. But what's perfect because we are five people. Yep, my yep. door in the basket. All of them having what, fun at the same what's time. What's perfect? 
Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Thank you, Carito. Okay, oh, now yeah. let's listen to Ellie and then Raquel. Ah, no, I'm sorry, Carlos, and then Ellie. Then Raquel. Hey, Carlos. Hey, hey. With my friends, eat whatever every day of after study we we win to play soccer it was a lot of fun okay where did you where did you work donde estaba or where did you play on uh, street in a calle or in any field cancha eh, como una una un previo digamos no sé. oh, okay the field okay it's nice yes <laughs> well that's always fun to play with friends, definitely. Thank you, Carlos. Eli and Raquel. Okay. So the best experience you had with your friend or family. Um, the last, the last trip with my father to the beach to is only video in life. Okay. So did you went to the beach? Fueron a la playa. El único video en vida de él que me quedó. The only one. The only one. The only one or the only video. And that's like a treasure, right? De bien preciado. When you have okay. that. Yeah, yes. And that's good because you can remember it and imagine uh, previous generations didn't have that. They just have some photographs. If they could. Si podían. Tenían fotografías. But we, now we have videos, right? We have like, different types of, of memories. That's like a, a really yeah. good experience. Thank you, Elisa. Raquel, and then Luis. Um, what? In my birthday, 25. Because that day I can share with all the people that I love and love me. My co-workers, my friends, and my family. My best party's birthday in all my life. When? Uh, 25 years. 25. It was three years ago? Hace tres años. Yes. Okay, three years. Sí, ahí estoy, recuerdo. So, well, that's good. Did you have a lot of food, drinks, or what? No. Yes. Oh. Soda. Food, drink, orange juice. <laughs> orange juice. Okay. Yeah, orange juice. Orange juice. <laughs> with with piquete. Okay, nice. Thank you. Well, uh, birthdays are always fun when you share. Cuando ustedes when you share it, cuando lo comparten, with family and friends. Always. You can eat pupusas. You can eat whatever. Pan mataniño, you can eat it on the street and you can uh, you, you can have a really good time. That's it. But if you have some other implements like drinks, you know, you can have I have five cakes. Five cakes? Yes. Wow. Raquel. Todo me regalaron. Okay, yo creo que era tu otro tipo de fiesta. But good. It's nice. Te quedó todavía en el referee, right? Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Raquel. Birthdays are always amazing. Uh, Luis and Edwin. Okay, Luis. Okay, teacher. Uh, for example, I had many experiences with my brother and cousin. We live near a field and the rain came. We are running to play and made each other five, converting mood dirty. That is something what will never be erased from my memory meal. Okay, okay. Uh, mood, uh, lodo, cuando en la lluvia, a eso te refieres, right? Yeah. Exactly. It, it, it's, it's really good. And as, as I told uh, Carito, the, those are uh, memories that maybe it happened uh, like once or twice in life. A veces solo pasan una vez o dos veces, but you remember it. It was like, yeah. it was a good day. Con, ah, con buen día. Okay, thank you, Liz. Nice. Thank you. Edwin, and then we go with Steffi. Okay, Edwin, ready? 
Okay. Uh, one of my memorable experience is when I was a kid, we used to travel to Hikilisco to visit grandma and I like it to go because every morning we will get get up early with my brothers to see a train pacing a few met, meters from the house. Yes, and you were a kid, right, Edwin? Yes. Okay, and to see a train is, is very exciting. Bien emocionante ver trenes. Especially when yes, you're a kid. Yes, cuando vibraba la, la calle cuando pasaba y el sonido que hacía cuando the, pasaba. The, yes, the sound. So you were, uh, you went out and to see. So that's what, that is a really good experience. Okay. Yeah. Especially to visit grandpas, it's, it's the best. Okay. And they give you a lot of food. Bastante comida siempre los abuelos. Okay. Nice. Uh, Edwin, uh, Steffi. Yes. Okay. When I take my son to the sea for the first time, it's where uh, well, um, how old was your baby? One year, yeah. a month, one year. Yeah. Yes, babies. When they see the the, the what, when they see. The C. <laughs> Fíjense bien cómo uh, se pronuncia. When they see the C, no, estuvo bien. Or when they see the beach. For the first time, they are like very crazy, right? Really happy. Yeah, yes. Uh, I guess most kids love water. A la mayoría de niños les gusta el agua. So that's it. That, that's really funny. Okay, good. Thank you, Steffi. Okay, and for this, we're going to continue. Later. Here we have a listening. Okay, so I need you to have like um, be ready with the pen or pencil, and we're going to listen to the, this listening. Okay, let's listen. Value of discipline in student life. Discipline is very important to have success in life. It means following up a set of rules and regulations in keeping peace with time. A disciplined life is a key to have success at every stage of life be it student or adult. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline. In school, teachers and principals with the school management are responsible for maintaining discipline. At home, parents and guardians have to see whether the child is disciplined or not. Discipline in a student's life acts as the building block for success. Discipline helps us to present ourselves before others in a respectable manner. In discipline, it's not always the mistake a part of students, but also the part of an unorganized family. Okay, let's listen again one more time. value of discipline in student life. Discipline is very important to have success in life. It means following up a set of rules and regulations in keeping peace with time. A disciplined life is a key to have success at every stage of life, be it student or adult. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline. In school, 
teachers and principals with the school management are responsible for maintaining discipline. At home, parents and guardians have to see whether the child is disciplined or not. Discipline in a student's life acts as the building block up for success. Discipline helps us. Discipline, discipline helps us to present ourselves before others in a respectable manner. In discipline, it's not always the mistake at part of students, but also the part of an unorganized family. Okay. Tell me. Words. Okay, here we go. With um, William Carito Raquel. Okay. Value, value, value and discipline. Discipline is very important. At home, the child discipline help, mistake, and organized family following time adult management block before others. Good one. Very nice. Yes. Perfect. Value of discipline. That's the main topic. Thank you. Carito and Raquel. Value of discipline. Discipline is very important to have success in life. Uh, it's a key to have success. Be Eric student or adult in a school teach and principal parents and guardians like uh, as a building block of success before order in discipline is not always the mistake it's more important yes that's it very very <laughs> good got it a lot of words Raquel and Carlos Okay, value discipline in student life is very important. And uh, is very important be a student or adult in school. Teachers and principal are responsible to the discipline at home. Parents and guardians uh, decide if kids are disciplined or not. Discipline is a mistake or students. Okay, good, Raquel, very nice. Uh, who else? Ellie, right? And Carlos, si no me equivoco. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, discipline is very important. Regulation, present before, also self import discipline. School teacher organize block mistake. Okay, good. Y la mayoría ha captado como que esa palabra de mistake. Very nice. I like it. Uh, Carlos, do you have some other words? Okay, right. teacher. Right. Discipline and very right. important. And in my right. following, last to be water, life, responsibility, are not self so, so, respect to human, the or, organized family. Yeah, that's good. Very good. So um, here we're going to check this. Oh, yes. Value of discipline in student life. In my opinion, discipline is the one of the most important keys for success. Si ustedes son disciplinados, you can get whatever you want. But the determination to be disciplined is, is the problem because we are in the comfort zone normally. Normalmente estamos en la zona de confort, right? Entonces, we are accustomed to, mm, to leave things for later, dejar las cosas para después. But this discipline is to do the things at the time that you have to do, be on time, and complete your objectives, the effort. But uh, uh, we're going to, yes? How, how do you say procrastin procrastinate? Procrastinate. Procrastinate, that's the word, okay, okay. thank you. Proca 
procrastinate, es procrast, procrastinar, procrastinar, perdón, procrastinar en español, procrastinate, uh, is to leave the things at the last moment, dejar las cosas al último momento. Y aquí tenemos. Ok, carito, nice. And procrastinator, que como me decían a mí en bachillerato, yes, uh, that's one of my nicknames. Procrastinator, siempre dejado las cosas a última hora. Ya mejor un poquito. So, procrastinate, procrastinator, procrastinator. Okay, so that's it. Um, we're going to listen the last time, okay? value of discipline in student life. Discipline is very important to have success in life. It means following up a set of rules and regulations in keeping peace with time. A disciplined life is a key to have success at every stage of life, be it student or adult. Self-discipline is more important than imposed discipline in school Teachers and principals with the school management are responsible for maintaining discipline. At home, parents and guardians have to see whether the child is disciplined or not. Discipline in a student's life acts as the building block for success. Discipline helps us to present ourselves before others in a respectable manner in discipline it's not always the mistake a part of students, but also the part of an unorganized family. Okay, there are, uh, well, here we have some words that are like interesting. Example, management. Management, weather. Weather significa sí. Por ejemplo, eh, parents and guardians have to see, ¿verdad? Los, los padres, y son los, que, los vigilantes, tienen que ver si, sí, whether, si, sí, el niño es disciplinado o no. ¿Ok? Sí, entonces es, como, es parecido como un if. ¿Se recuerdan que el if condicional, verdad? Sí. Building, no building, building. Um, manner, modales. Mistake, error. Mistake. Um, y esta palabra que todavía se los escucho que digan important. Es important, important. Lo que yo les sugiero que hagan lo siguiente. Cuando yo les dé algunas palabras que consideren, se dan cuenta que a veces yo hago énfasis, hago hincapié en algunas palabras, por ejemplo, important. Entonces, yo lo que les sugiero es que en su cuaderno o donde ustedes estén copiando, háganle un cuadrito o coloreenlo o hagan algo para que sepan que esas palabras se las estoy escuchando y hay que mejorarlas. Si no se, oigan bien, no se puede. You can improve what you don't measure. No pueden mejorar lo que no pueden medir. Lo acabo de inventar, pero es, es cierto. De verdad, no pueden mejorar lo que no se mide, lo que no llevan un tracking, lo que no llevan un registro. Si ustedes llevan un registro, saben que pueden mejorar. Pero si no, ah, no, ya sé, teacher, no, no se preocupe. La próxima lo digo. Mm -mm. You have to have a record, a tracking. Deben de llevar un registro. A veces tengo momentos de mucha iluminación. Yes, but that's it. Follow my, follow my, 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 okay? my advice. Sigo mi, mi sugerencia. A veces doy buenas sugerencias, ok. We're going to finish with this. We have just eight minutes, ocho minutos. Creo que es la última parte de la clase. De las nueve para acá se fue más rápido. Tell the best experience you have had with your friends. Recuerden, your, no your. Your, your. ¿Verdad? Esta palabra, anótenla. Your friends or family. And in this case, we're going to listen to Joa. Are you over there? Thank you. Thank you. Bien tranquilo. Joa en Carly. Okay. One, while my children, the three of 
us went to the beach by bus. I told I was going to be difficult because my youngest son was one year old, but I was the most beautiful day. I still remember the look of my children when they saw the sea. Yes, yes, that, that definitely. When they see for the first sí. time, cuando estábamos uh, similar to, to Steffi, they are... Yeah. Ellos están emocionados, excited. No confundan esa palabra con otra que se le viene a la mente. Please, okay. Excited es emocionado. So they are they are excited and they, their eyes are so open. Se les abren tanto los ojitos a los chicos. So that's very nice. Thank you, Joa, for your memories. Carly, in Kenya. Okay, with the family on Belfast on Mon we play it. Um, no sé cómo se dice batear. Step. Step on. Step on. Dar un paso, ven. Eh? Step on. Ok. Jugamos así de, de bateo, toda la familia. Ah, like softball, something uh, like ajá. similar. De, ajá. No sé cómo se dice. Okay, we play games or, or like softball, and it is really nice when family plays, and it's funny, gracioso, chistoso, right? Like, yeah. Yes. Okay, you share good time. Thank you, Carly. Uh, okay, Kenya, and then we go with Adonai. Okay, teacher. My experience with my friends is to have gone to Mundo Petapa in Guatemala and get on our the mechanical games. Oh, yes. I don't know that place. Uh, is it beautiful? Is it nice? No. Petapa. Mundo Petapa. Juegos mecánicos. No idea, but it sounds like really good. Okay. Hi. And when you visit those places, you always have like good pictures, right? Oh. Siempre uno toma buenas fotos, yes. Okay. Sí, tengo Thank varias ahí de ese lugar. Yeah, usually happens. Me encanta Thank subírmelas a los juegos mecánicos y fue una oh, gran. Really? Me encanta, me fascina. Ok, ya vamos a ver si subimos algún de ellos. Pero... En agosto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alta gada. Ok. <laughs> no, Alta gada sí es el único que no. No, porque Alta gada su... siempre se le bajan los. La ropa, la gente. No, no igual este, yo tengo problema en mi columna y, y siempre he tenido el temor por eso, de fregarme más la columna. Pero. Pero en otras sí me he subido. O sea, ah, no, tagada, ok. Ok, solo el tagada, no. De ahí los demás, sí. Ahí nos vamos a ir todos. Sí, sí. agarrados de la mano. En medio sí, vamos a estar. Todo, todos los del módulo 2 nos vamos a ir. Vamos a estar dando vueltas. Ok, good. Thank you. Um, eh, what if Adonai and then William? Okay. My best experience with my family is that every year we all get together and then to see who are out of the country, cousins, uncles, brothers, grandparents, and we laugh, we eat, we go to places. My best experience. Okay, yeah, that's it. Oh, well, family is it, so you can have good times with family all the time. Thank you. Uh, and night we go with William and then Walter. We're going to finish. Okay, William, ready? Okay, teacher. In two is not um, very the best experience, it's like a uh, um, un poco como triste o no sé, okay. pero realmente va. Ok. Um, I remember that when I was seven or eight years old, we were having breakfast with my mom and my, and my brothers. And, and suddenly it started to shake too hard, too hard and a pee or brick 
fell in on my brother's head. We go to Skyrim. It was the 2001 earthquake. earthquake. Yeah, if I remember it correctly, tent nothing happened to good. Yes. Well, el terremoto. terremoto. Yeah. Er, er, 2001 earthquake in, in January. It was really, really hard. It was heavy. Really you know? strong. Yes, strong. Okay. Everybody Very got scared. Todos nos asustamos. Everybody. Yeah. I was an adolescent. Yo era un adolescent. The house is no down pensé. all, yeah, okay. around. And people start running nobles. Well, it is like like a, a, a memory, an impacting memory. Okay. Yes. Maybe not so happy, but it was like shocking. Thank you. William. Walter, are you ready? Yes. Okay, please go. Okay. Uh, when when I was little, I got lost in the metro center. <laughs> And I prefer to come home that say, and every uh, my family uh, look for you, look for you. Está buscando. Yes, in, in Metro Centro. I, uh, but I go home. You, the, you return home. You yes. go home. Well, yeah, me <laughs> yeah. and you watching TV. Um, that usually happens, and, and that's scary. Eso es scary. Es como una cuestión así que te da miedo. Es una situación así, pues, eh, importante también. Look for significa buscar. I'm looking for, estoy buscando. So, okay. so well, we're going to finish uh, here, right? Um, let me see. Um, well, I'm going to check the attendance, review the list of assistance, no sin antes recordarles, please, please, hagan eh, la evaluación final y termine la unidad 4 hoy, a más tardar mañana. Eh, no puedo esperarlos tanto para pasar las notas porque me las están pidiendo para mañana en la noche después de, de que realicemos la encuesta. Recuerden, mañana vamos con la encuesta, no la hagan. Esta es la última clase de las clases. Okay, that's really good. Tranquila, no llore, no llore. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, pues, ello es lo último. Mm, ha sido bien interesante este grupo, pero mañana nos vamos a poner a llorar. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list. Agradecer. Thank you for the ones that who completed the, the exams. Lo que terminaron las evaluaciones y todo, y que van mucho con buena nota. Thank you very much. Ya están libres de pecado. Los absuelvo. El resto, please do it. Háganlo. Okay, check the attendance list. Say hello if you are there. Andres? Carlos? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Marito, thank you. Hello, Edwin. teacher. Nice. Eli? Hello, teacher. Good night. Nice. Steffi? Hello. Um, Gabriel? Oh, Gabriel. Uh, Jackie? Patty? Joa? Hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Nice, Carly, thank you. Hello. Kenya, thank you. Luis. Hello, teacher. Nice. Marcos, Oscar, no. Raquel. Hello, hello, teacher. Walter. William. Hello, hello. Adonai. Present teacher. Good. Hello, Good teacher. Friend. Good night. Good night. Okay, my friends, see you tomorrow. No falten mañana, please. No see falten. you tomorrow. See okay. you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye my friends. See you. Goodbye. Good night. Good
Okay, unfortunately, this time the student couldn't be here for the uh, 10 minute session. So we're going to have a review of the last class. How to use Keen for informal requests. Um, a simple conversation between Mike and Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work. Terminal, the computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. Can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Then we had this very uh, work exercise. Get in person, discuss the following questions. What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? For one, so the three. Here we have two important um, phrases. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. And it's important. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. So he, uh, Mike, is providing a solution. Question number two, what seems to be the problem with the computer? Well, yesterday it was very slow, but uh, today it didn't turn on. Then the instruction says group work. And get in trios, write down two more reasons to file a complaint. Write the name of another piece of equipment at the center of the second diagram and possible complaints about it. So here we have, this is an example of how uh, we can show some causes or difficulties of any equipment, the printer, for example, it doesn't turn on. And this is a, a complaint form. So fill in the following complaint form. Here we have the name of the complainant. So the person who is um, providing information. Date, home phone number, work phone number, fax number, street address, city, email address. Complaint information, describe the nature of the complaint, identify the equipment in question and the problem. Signature of the person making complaint. Okay. And we were studying about the use of can and could. So uh, it is very important to check the grammar structure.
also the um, structure is um, we can use can or could as an um, as an auxiliary uh, after the after the subject and before the verb and uh, the same for can't couldn't and for questions here we have can and could then here we have the answers yes the subject can could or no sub, uh, subject and the next 